What's up guys? Animations. They can make or break an app. If you don't have them, your app is going to look super, super bland. And just a couple of animations in the right place with the right timings can really elevate your app from kind of boring standard to something really magical. But animations can be quite difficult to write, uh, especially if you're used to things like Keynote or PowerPoint where you just have drop down menus to select that you want something to pop. You've never really thought about what goes into creating a pop animation. Um, so I create quite a lot of animations in most of my applications. I, as I say, I think that they can make or break an application. So uh, I've built a little library and I built this ages ago, um, well over a year ago. Um, it's a little library called Awesomizer, and it's just for iOS, or Xamarin iOS, I should say. You can probably wrap this with forms if you want to, but there is no UWP or Android version available, and there probably won't be, because I'm not interested in building that. Um, but if you're doing traditional iOS development with Xamarin, then the Awesomizer is a great little package for you. So what it is, is just extension methods for anything that inherits from UI view and most controls will inherit from UI view so a UI button a UI label a UI table view cell it, it doesn't matter as long as it inherits from UI view we can apply these animations by just adding dot and then what we want so my button dot rotate or, or rotation uh, my dot button dot flip my button dot shake you get the idea. Um, it's all open source. It's available on GitHub, mycodes.net forward slash awesomizer. Uh, there's no currently outstanding issue, so uh, it's all up to date in terms of bug fixes, which is nice to see. And there's also a little sample app, which I'll just show you now. Um, if you grab the sample app and launch it in Visual Studio, you'll see two projects. You'll see the sample app and then the main library that it's referencing. Now, let's jump into the, the main library to start with. Um, there's really not a lot within the library. Uh, at the moment, it's got a folder called Controls where I'm starting to add uh, a custom control that I built for beer drinking, um, which will be quite useful. It's kind of like tabs, but not really tabs, but a little bit like tabs. I'll show you in a moment. Um, and then the, the majority of this library lives within this UI view extensions uh, class. And we have it broken down into four areas. So animations, size and position, UI image, and color extensions. So if we start with animations, you'll see that we can flip in different directions. Uh, we have the ability to fade in views, uh, shake horizontally, we can shake vertically. And this is also a great way to come in and see some of the code of how do, how do I create these animations. Um, if you want to just wholesale steal these, you're more than welcome to. It's all under MIT, so you don't have to take on the dependency on Awesomizer if you don't want the full uh, full animations available to your application. Uh, we also have pop, we have pulse to size, uh, flip with duration, so we can pass in a duration that will take that long to, to flip. Uh, we've got rotate to angle, we've got some uh, motion effects. Uh, let's have a look at size and position, so we can set the width, um, we can do heights, we can do origins, uh, X and Y, um, UI image is quite a cool one, we've got uh, rounded so we can cut the corners off, um, we can tint the image, and then we have color, so we have two UI colors, so we can just pass in a string, uh, we have the ability to lighten a UI color, and actually darken as well. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple stuff within this library, uh, but let's actually have a look at the sample app running. So if we want to take a control and shake it, all we have to add, if we come into the code behind for this, so we have this shake animation, shake animation, you'll see that we take our view and we just say that we want to shake, and it's either going to be horizontally or vertically. So let's do horizontally, and we can tap, and now we're going to shake vertically. Horizontally, vertically, horizontally, vertically. And if we go back, we can see we've got a pop animation. Um, so we'll click on this. Boom. Look at that. It's popping. So it's a very, very simple little library in terms of what you need to to, to call to use it. It's just things like pulse to size. Um, just very, very light abstraction layer above some of the common 
uh, animations that we'd want to do. Now, as I mentioned before, custom controls is something that I'm going to start adding in the future with Awesomeizer, and I've started with this scrolling tab bar. And it's not really a tab bar, but it kind of is. Um, it, it's actually just custom controls. It doesn't inherit from UI tab bar. Um, it's just it inherits from UI views. Uh, this is a scroll view, a UI scroll view. Um, I need to get rid of the vertical and horizontal position. But what you can see is that when I scroll, I'm going to change the top. And I can tap on the top, so I get this kind of tab-like feature. And you can see it's a work in progress. I still need to work on it more. Um, I built this just for beer drinking, so I'm trying to make it as shareable as possible right now. But this is Awesomeizer. It's on GitHub, as I say, mycodes.net forward slash Awesomeizer. It's a great way to get started with learning animations and how you can do animations on iOS, as well as just adding I, uh, animations to your iOS application. You don't have to go and write these from scratch. People like myself have written libraries for you, so do go and check them out. Thanks very much. Uh, do like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.